dip 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 intermission Hello Heavy Metal Maidens and Masters, I'm Heavy Metal Mama and I'm Heavy Metal Hubby and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we have something very very exciting, I don't know if you remember but a few weeks ago I got an amazing present from Mama Goth which was a Monster Mash Teas gift box. I ordered some quite a lot of tea. <laughs> so, we love tea. so today we are doing <clears throat> a Monster Mash Teas unboxing and trying. We're going to have a review of all the teas, we're going to try them, we're going to show you guys all the stuff and let you know what we think. But before we get to that, remember to like this video, comment down below to discuss any of the things that come up in the video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever I upload and welcome. So, Monster Mash Teas, if you didn't see that video, I will put a link up in the eye there so that you can watch that video. There are some amazing stuff, they have some really, really cool things and they had some lovely, lovely tea. So, Mama Goth sent me, uh, it was called Dorian Grey, it was an Earl Grey tea. Uh, and I got uh, this Dried Zombie Brains Tea Caddy, uh, a lovely little skull spoon, some skull shaped uh, sugar cubes. It was an amazing gift box, amazing gift box. And I loved the tea. It was so cool. I loved the company. I just thought it was such a great idea. I, yeah, everything. And it made me want more. <laughs> and actually in talking to some of you guys down in the comments of that video, um, I got some tips on which teas were the best, uh, particularly Robin. Um, she bought quite a lot of tea, I think. And she was <laughs> advising me on what she thought she I like. Yeah, it was great. So I bought quite a few things. So this is the package. I have literally snipped it open because there was I was hoping there might be like a, a sort of overview sheet in there. It's so much cooler than that. I just put it all back in and went, nope, nope, nope. It's all going on the channel. So here is our Monster Mash Teas unboxing. So it comes in this beautiful black manila envelope. It's all padded and everything. And there's so much stuff in here. So. Happy Metal Hubby, can you take that one? This is Octopus Ink, which is black tea. Cool. There's, there's this. I'm not quite sure what this is. I'm going to have to look it up because I don't know what it is. I'm wondering if it's something to clip the tea bag onto the edge of the teacup. I'm not sure. I'm going to look into it. Uh, there's... It's a little snail. But, but what does it do? <laughs> I don't know, but it's cute. There is some dried zombie brains to go in the jar of dried zombie brains, <laughs> so, which I'm very excited about. Our daughter will be very excited as well. <laughs> there is a Monster Mash tea little cheat sheet thing, which I will show you in a minute. A little snail. <laughs> We've got this, which is the, it's like the gift pack. So we'll open that in a minute. But yeah, it's all beautifully oh, sealed cool. up. It's really cool. Yeah. It's really cool. Look, there we go. And that's on the back. I'm very excited about that. And oh. then the thing that I think I was most wowed by is this. Is that probably wax sealed? Yes, it's got a wax seal on it. How Look. Is that? Look at that. Look at that. So what we're going to do is we're going to read this first. So this is the like the printed sheet that comes with it. It says, Monster Mash Teas. Dear Potion Brewer, the mistress has commanded that we tell you that sealed within are your chosen samples of tea. So in here, uh, they are in tea bags, which you need just need to put in your favourite cauldron and top up with hot water. So I may have specifically for this video bought one of the new Til Killstar teacups. I want to say this is the Phoenix teacup. I might be wrong. I will put somewhere up here what it's called if I've got it wrong. <laughs> so <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous though. Look, it's got this it beautiful, very cool. beautiful, very cool. beautiful saucer. It's just a black teacup. And then inside it says a certain kind of, kind of darkness is needed to see the stars. It's really cool. It's really cool. Um, I don't have... And I'm, and I'm just on brand. Anyway, it says, put in your favourite cauldron and top up with hot water. Leave to infuse for two to five minutes, then remove the bag and sweeten as desired. You can even leave the fruit and herbal tea bags in to continue to give you a stronger brew. 
enjoy and then it says the tea minions i love the fact that they call everything <laughs> mistress and minions it's so on brand it's so on brand for me <laughs> so look, the tea, tea minions. minions and then there's this little like monster paw print i love it i love it i love it so it's very cool it's very cool let's open this with the flipping wax seal which look is a teacup with a little monster emerging out of it uh, this is the first time i've ever received anything with a wax seal i'm kind of yeah I should do this with a letter. I'll use it. I'll use the handle of the spoon. There we go. Ready? Mm. I'll do it on camera. Oh no! I've just <laughs> I've just torn through the envelope. Oh, oh there we go. At least the wax seals in one piece. Yeah, well, I can keep that. It's a lovely letter. So it says: First of all, we want to thank you for your review of the go of the coffin gift box. We were so happy that you enjoyed the taste of our tea. As requested, please find below the answers to your questions on your order. So I asked them a few questions. I wanted to know a bit about what the business is so I can tell you guys about it. So, Monster Mash opened its online store on the 16th of June, 2016. It is a business located in beautiful Yorkshire and run with love and a five star food hygiene rating from my home there. We do not have a physical shop, but we do travel the country holding stalls at conventions, steampunk and Gothic events. I wanna go to one of those, right? I miss those, I miss goth I events. Miss events. I miss Just going anything. outside. Right? Gigs, festivals. <laughs> <laughs> We will soon, we will. Right. I have always loved Victoriana and the gothic, gothic aesthetic and had a fascination with old herbal remedies. The name of some of my teas are actual herbs, such as Toa Frog. It's just buttercups. <laughs> <laughs> I have Newt, mustard seeds. I love mustard seeds. Oh my God, I put them in hot like most of our dinners, don't I? Well, I grew some. Yeah, 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 he did. He grew me some. Uh, dragon's blood is actually a sap from a tree, but it's highly poisonous. Of course, my actual ingredients differ, but I have asked on a, been asked on a few occasions if my tea actually contained these deadly ingredients. Can you imagine? No, I'm just trying to poison my customers. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. yes. Drink my tea. You may die. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, a great business aesthetic. <laughs> I've killed all my customers. <laughs> yeah. Have a tablet once, you won't come back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, of course, also love tea, especially fresh loose leaf tea. We love loose leaf tea too. Uh, the store bought tea bags are made for your convenience, and as they are mass produced, they are mostly made of poor quality, fine, almost dust like tea in the tea bags. Definitely. You know, when you puncture one and you end up with all this. <clears throat> shmee. Shmee. <laughs> yeah, at the bottom. Even the fruit teas and herbal infusions are fine grains, whereas my teas and infusions have actual junky dried leaves. Rock on. Or slices, pieces or slices of dried, freeze-dried fruit. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Ooh. They are, there are also no added nasties, such as artificial sweeteners and preservatives, and only the black teas have caffeine in them. I need the caffeine. <laughs> Another important fact is that they are ethically sourced and because <coughs> I blend the teas myself, they are vegan as no animal derivatives are added, i.e. honey or sodium, sodium caseinate, a stabilised preservative made from cow's milk. I was going to say caseins from cow's milk. Uh, we have in our store a wondrous ver variety of flavours and <laughs> flavors and blends. Roy, ru, ru, Roy Rubos? Is that it? I'm never sure how you're supposed to pronounce sure. that. I think it's Rubos. It might be Roy Boss. Tell Ru me in the comments how I'm pronouncing it wrong. Ruby Boss. Ruby Boss? Yeah, know. it's... Yeah. That, African that, that. sweet red bush tea. Uh, black teas, green teas, herbal infusions and fruit teas. The fruit teas are so strong that you can make a large batch of any of them, chill them down in the fridge and then... It's for... <laughs> Once again, thanks for the reviews and I hope you enjoy your samples. Happy brewing. Kindest regards, Susanna. Thank you, Susanna. Thank very you. Cool. Thank you. Very and oh cool. my God, the attention to detail. I mean, again, this is what I always say about small businesses the attention to detail. Look at this paper. Look at this paper. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at this on the back. It's. I wonder if it's been stained with tea. <laughs> oh my God, that would be so cool. If it had. <clears throat> it's amazing. I mean, the, the wax seal on the envelope. I mean, that's so cool. Look at all the filigree around. It's just yeah you know what i say small businesses the attention to detail for their customers is just above and beyond oh my god look at this look at this oh wow look at this look how beautiful this is that's so cool okay so we have got distilled dragon's breath which is russian caravan uh, close your eyes and let your senses take in the rich oaky scent of a crackling campfire. Imagine as wisps of silvery grey smoke curl and dance their way up into the night like a pair of ghostly wings, silent and deadly. 
So that is a blend of Lapsang Souchon, Assam and Ceylon black teas. Mm. I like that saying, Shushan. Yes, it's quite smoky, isn't mm. it? So we've got Himalayan Yeti, which is a <laughs> Nepalese black tea. Grown high in the Himalayas, this whole leaf tea has a multi bold flavour. It's sure to warm you in co on cold nights, just like a big fairy hug. Ingredients, Nepalese black tea. We've got dried cobra's venom, which is masala chai spiced black tea, mm. which I got for Heavy Metal Hubby, because he loves chai. So prepare to be charmed with this blend of Indian aromatic herbs and spices. Ingredients, black tea, cloves, cardamom, cinnamon, ginger, black pepper, nutmeg and coriander. Yes, like that yes. I think I think, because I like chai, but sometimes I can find it a bit over-processed, but I think this is going to be the shiznay. Yes. Uh, and then we've got Phoenix Ashes, which is your favourite, lemon and ginger. Boom. Invigorate your senses with this fiery ginger and lemon brew. Dry ginger, lemon pieces, lemongrass, elderberries, rose hips, oh. and licorice pieces. That's going to wow. be interesting. Yeah, yeah that's going to be really interesting. Use them as a sugar free cocktail mocktail base. Or, like I do, make dried black <coughs> dragon's blood ice lollies. Ooh, Ooh, the kids would love to do that. We have these zombie ice lolly molds as well. That would be, oh, that'd be so cool. Especially with uh, dragon's blood ice Yeah. <laughs> As well as the teas, we also sell Gothic Apothecary themed utensils, containers, mugs, gifts, gift bags and boxes. We hope to keep expanding this range as our little business grows and converts more people to the delicious taste of fresh loose leaf tea. If you have any further questions, please write to us at contact at monstermashtees.co.uk. I've also included, an, with your order, a tea snail to hold your tea bags whilst they brew. So that's what the snail is. Right, let's get down to this. I want to try some tea. Right, Hell okay, yeah. so Thirsty. first things first, what have we got? So we've got two, these are loose. So we have got dried zombie brains, which is a green tea. Does it say anything cool on the back of that one? Because it says on the back of this one, says, take care when brewing this dark, strong liquid, something watches from the dirt. Well, that's the octopus ink one. Yeah. And this one says, dried zombie brains, green tea. Brains, rich and tangy and warm. <laughs> <laughs> Let out the inner zombie in you with this strong green brew. <laughs> I love it. Brains. brains. Yeah. <laughs> right, well, we're going to try this one first because I think this one's probably going to be a lighter taste than that one. Yep. Oh. Is that the green oh, tea Oh, it's good. Oh, damn. Yeah. yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, it oh, smells wow. really strongly of green tea, really strongly. Because some green tea you kind of like doesn't really smell of anything. Like those tea bags that we get from Lidl, the green tea ones. I mean, they're all right they're okay. for, they're you okay. know, they're less yeah. than a pound for the box. So, you know, you can't complain that much. That is so much stronger. I mean, look at that. that is, you can see that it's just shredded leaves. That's amazing. That's a very, very green, I know it's green tea, but man, that is, that is proper green, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that. Let me give it a smell. I mean, it smells of green tea. So. It does smell of green tea. Well, cheers. Ching. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's nice. Mm. It's stronger than normal. It smells very delicate. I like the fact it actually tastes of something, though. Some, sometimes when I have the green tea at Wagamama, which are like, this is just hot water in a cup. <laughs> you know? but, oh, this is lovely. You know what? Mm. I don't... I'm not... A massive fan of green tea normally. This is the it's, nicest green tea I've ever it's, had. It's it's really good. It's kind of mm. it's really refreshing. Yeah, it's more it's much more delicate than a mm. cup of black tea, isn't it? But it's the the, the flavours are more more top notey. Yeah, but not not intense. Intense is the wrong word, mm. but they're more more present like, than they're than, more at the front of your tongue, mm. aren't they? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Whereas I'd say black tea is a flavour that's very much at the back of your throat, sort of thing, but. Mm, this is lovely. It's really light and mm. that's got that weird mm. tannin. Not not tanniny, but sometimes green tea's got that weird sort of weird aftertaste. Yeah, almost yeah. like a squeaky teeth kind of thing. Yeah, um, it doesn't have that at all. It's no. very fresh and it's lovely. Oh god, mm. I, yeah. I very much like the green tea. Nicest green tea I've ever had. That is dried zombie brains. That will definitely be going into its caddy. Because, Absolutely. you know, yeah. 
<laughs> so, yes. uh, that's going to have pride of place in the kitchen. So does, I, does Dried Zombie Brains get the Heavy Metal Mama seal of approval? It definitely gets the Heavy Metal <laughs> Mama seal of approval. I'm also going to have to get some more of these caddies because they're much cooler than the caddies. That, well, I think though they've discontinued mm. this caddy if I remember rightly and they're slightly different. But um, yeah, I need more of these black style apothecary jar type things. We have octopus ink this time. This is a black tea. So, it says, take care when brewing this dark, strong liquid, something watches from the depths. Mm. This just smells like damn good tea. Ooh. It looks weird, doesn't it? I wasn't expecting it to look like that. No, it's definitely more of a rough chop mm. than um, when you buy loose, because we buy loose leaf tea from any old supermarket at the moment, but this is definitely mm. chunkier, isn't it? It's got I bet you it puffs up loads. Massive depth of smell, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. This is octopus ink. We're going to try it first without milk and then we're Sons going to milk. add a little bit of a, of a leche. So, Cheers, bottoms honey. up. Cheers. Cool. Blimey. Cool. We brewed that our normal amount of time. That is strong. Okay. Brewed for less time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a very strong tea. Mmm. Oh, it's got so much flavour though. It's a milk dye. Oh, what, let's, let's, see, let's see what you... Have you tried it? I'm going to. What do you think? If it improves it. Oh yeah. Yeah? Yeah. It takes that slightly, it's not bitter, but you know what I mean, that very mm. full-bodied taste. I think if you were going to drink it black, you don't want to brew it for as long, because we brewed that about three, four minutes, which is our normal brewing time. Our normal, yeah. Uh, but I think for black tea, probably only two. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's a, that's a rich, deep-bodied mm, tea. That is really good. Well, that, it's is, like, that is You nice. know when you go to a posh tea rooms and you have, like, the cream tea or something and they have really good tea this this is really good tea mm. that is genuinely really nice really really nice that is the octopus ink that is absolutely delicious if you want a, a you know all round black mm. black tea english breakfast tea that is absolutely so is that, gorgeous is that one got caffeine in it yes yeah, so all the black teas will have caffeine right, yeah, in yeah, yeah. Yeah, that is um, yeah, as a morning cuppa, that would that would do you well. We're now going to try. I have got Himalayan Yeti here, and I have got dried cobras vinegar. So this smells like another black tea. This smells more heady than than octopus ink. Hang on, let me just smell octopus ink and compare. Yeah, it's definitely got a. No, actually, that smells stronger than this. This. It's slightly got a slightly sweeter smell. Sweeter smell, yeah, yeah. That's more bassy, isn't it? Mm. Yes, but it smells lovely. And then Heavy Metal Hubby here has got the dried cobra's venom. Dried something like that. Which is the chai one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yep, yeah, dried cobra's venom. Oh, <laughs> oh that's good. He does love a chai. I mean, to me, chai is Glastonbury. Hell yeah, Glastonbury, three o'clock in the morning. <sighs> Have a little bit more. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you can put milk in it. Lovely. Oh. oh, you needed the tea snail. I needed the tea snail. Damn you, tea snail. There is so much actual tea, and it's swollen up so much, the tea in this tea bag. It really has, doesn't it? Look at that. Come on. Right, hang on. I might just leave it in actually. Yeah, why not? Right. Oh, that's lovely. It reminds me more of the Earl Grey. It's got that slightly more refined Pinky. aftertaste. 
Oh yeah, that's what you mean. Yeah. The Earl Grey, then you get the bergamot on the lemon and stuff after you get that, but that's definitely a more refined tea. It's more, uh, well, it's, uh, it's quite strong. There's a, there's a slight tannin, tannin in yeah, this Yeah, but it's tea. also got quite a top note to it, hasn't it? That's lovely. Mm. It's really lovely. That's more of a, this is a posh tea. Yeah. It's slightly more bitter as well, isn't it? It's got yeah, a, yeah. Let's see what mm. it's like with some milk in there. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to take it out juice in it. to put some cow juice in. Oh, there we go. I'm kind of, it's kind of sad that we've used the uh, the tea bag up there. Mm. Well, I'll just order some more. <laughs> so. Oh, that's posh tea. Isn't well, funny how that's changed it? Yeah, mm. the milk softens that slight bitterness, doesn't yeah. it? But yeah, that is nice. That is nice. Mm. Yeah, the octopus ink is like a really delicious br English breakfast. Mm. This is definitely more of a refined afternoon tea kind of tea, isn't that's, it? That's a, yeah, that's this a... is what you want with a really posh cake. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's lovely. I'm sorry, I'm finishing that's this. Fine. Right. <laughs> Go on then, right. tell us what this one's like. Right. So this is the the chai, isn't well, it? Well, if anything, the smell has intensified, mm. and it smells just the cinnamony mm. loveliness. It's, it's the cardamom. Mm. I want to know how much cardamom is. Cardamom's one of my favourites. Oh wow! Oh wow! Okay. <laughs> There's so much going on there. It's difficult oh, really? to pinpoint. Yeah. It smells amazing. It smells divine, doesn't it? It's got. You can smell all the spices. You can smell the cardamom and the clove. You know what? And it's and it's blended beautifully as well. Because sometimes you get, you know, there's there's too much cinnamon, there's too much cardamom, there's 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 not enough it's of really everything. Really balanced, but it, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. It's it's nothing takes precedent. It, yeah. Because it, 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 I must admit, sometimes there's too much clove. Mm, yeah. In in yeah. Uh, chai's, but yeah. this one. If you're not familiar with chai, normally um, it's it's brewed in milk. Um, and you normally put some honey in it. I'm not sure if that's traditional. That's just how, I've, how I've, uh, I know it. There, again, the milk softens it, but oh, that is. It's a just so balanced. Perfectly balanced. Yeah, chai, there's, there's, there's isn't nothing. It? I say nothing. Nothing. You don't go. Ooh, that's a lot of cinnamon or anything. It's just. Yeah. So hang on, let me see what's in it again. It is black tea, cloves, cardamom, cinnamon, ginger, black pepper, nutmeg, and coriander. Which is funny because you don't like coriander. I was going to say I hate coriander, so... Well, yeah. it's probably coriander seed, though, rather mm. than coriander leaf. He hates coriander. But, that but. is absolutely delicious, though. Absolutely delicious. Love that. That Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I can see us buying a big bag of that as well. Yeah. <laughs> mm, that is lovely. That's going to be like... that's That's a warm, wintry... Mm. Cold afternoon. No, you when don't. You snuggled you don't... up watching a movie and you want a cookie. Yeah. And, but you wouldn't want a cookie. You wouldn't want like a chocolate chip cookie. You'd just want oh, a snickerdoodle with that cinnamon snickerdoodle. Mm, yeah. I was gonna say a hobnob, but yeah, snickerdoodle would snickerdoodle. work. Well, actually, those oatmeal chocolate chip cookies that I made. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm a, become a bit obsessed with cookies recently. <laughs> right. So the last two teas. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit sad that they're going to be gone. Right, I have got Distilled Dragon's Breath, which is a Russian caravan. It's so smoky smelling. It it smells like you're around a bonfire, doesn't it? You know, it's so uh, this is oh, Lapsang, Sushon, Assam and Ceylon. I think it's the Lapsang Sushon. It's um, so smoky. You know, you know when you, you were used to go to a bonfire as a kid, like, like um, I don't know, Guy Fawkes or whatever. Um, and the way your hair smelled yeah, it, the night after that. Yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah, it's when you wake up and you're like, oh, my hair. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, yeah. God knows what they were burning yeah. on the bonfire. I wasn't expecting it to be that smoky. No, it's going to be it's going to be an interesting one. I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about this one. This is a a very much of a step away from what I normally drink, but we'll yeah. see. Yeah, we'll and go. you have got Phoenix Ashes, which, which is, is ginger and lemon. Which again, though, when we open this... It, doesn't smell how I was no, expecting. No, not as not as you it's expect. It's got. It said it had licorice in it, and I think you're smelling quite a lot of that. You're um, getting a lot more licorice and um, 
ginger than you are lemon. Yeah, but you can also slightly get the lemongrass more than the lemon. It's got that lemongrassy sort of greenness to it. Yeah, it's definitely a green sort of... Yeah. But these I, are going to be interesting, mm, these ones, but I think. Just, so. just look. I don't know if you can see it. Just look at the, the massive... The massive chunks in that. It's... it's yeah, I mean, there's massive chunks in this one too. This is, I mean, this is a chunky boy. Ch chunky, chunky boy. boy. But yeah, it's just oh, can't wait for these. Right. You got me foot. Mm. Ah, the tooth now. You nearly knocked him in. Oh no. <laughs> so we are on the distilled dragon's breath, which is the Lapsang, Sushon, Assam and Ceylon black tea. The smoky one. It's worth it's noting that all you can smell in here is that tea. Yeah. It, I mean, it's really strong now. <laughs> right, okay. I'm intrigued. I'm, I'm, I'm going intrigued. to take the tea bag out of this one because I don't think yeah, I'm going to want say, this yeah. one any stronger. There we go. Right. This is brewed for about three minutes. It doesn't taste as smoky as it smells. Okay. I mean, it, it still tastes quite smoky, but it doesn't taste as smoky as the smell would make you think it's gonna, if you get what I mean. Actually, the flavor's not too bad. Yeah, I think it's the smoke makes you go, huh? And no. um, I'll say not too bad. It's not bad, but you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's certainly more tart. I think a bit this one, bitter. it's nice, it's really nice. And I think if you like a smoky tea, but I don't think I'm going to be buying more of this one. But it was good to try it. So mm. let's see what it's like with some milk in, though. Yeah. It's not, I mean, it's not unpleasant. No, no, I think it's just that thing of, you know, if I'm going to choose a couple of them to buy more, I'm yeah, well, definitely, yeah. definitely going to be buying the Himalayan Yeti course, isn't it? and the, um, uh, the, the dry Cobra's Venom Masala yeah, yeah, Chai was really lovely good. as well. Really good. Oh, so much better with milk. Oh yeah. my God, so much better with milk. It's mellowed the smokiness out to just a light. You get the other flavors yeah. more with the milk, yeah. Mm. So they got a sort of slightly more, yeah, because it's taken the smokiness out. You've got that sort of depth of flavor. Yeah, now you can taste the other teas. Mm. It's not just being yeah. thwacked in the face by the smokiness. <laughs> Not Jilly Cooper. Actually, no. <laughs> do that. Suck air through it and you get all the smokiness again. I'm going to make myself cough, right? <laughs> you can't cough. <laughs> we'll have to put you down. <laughs> no coughing. No coughing. No. <laughs> I'm clean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like that much more with milk in. You know what? More. I think though, if if because I'm going to be doing another order because I love yeah, I mm. think this one's probably not going to make it onto the the, the order list. I don't think I'd ever choose it. No, no, mm. that's the thing. I think mm. if it was the only thing left, I'd definitely drink it and be I like, that it, was nice. I but... think it would work quite well with oat milk though. Mmm. Yes. So it's got that sort of creaminess. But it's also kind of it's not nutty, is it? It's oaty. Yeah, it is oaty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's porridgey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not lumpy. Really. No, no. Oh, God, yeah. Right, come on then. Let's yeah, see what okay. your right. Phoenix Ashes Lemon and Ginger Tea is. Cool. It's amazing. Look at that. It's Look amazing. at that. You That's can actually really see cool. all the... You can see all, all the, you can see yeah. the bits of lemongrass yeah. and all sorts. That's really cool. And look, the tea snail's got the bag. <laughs> Let's move the tea Gonna, snail out of the way. Yeah. Okay, here we go. It's so cute. It really is so cute. <laughs> Don't poke me in the eye. Oh, that's... that's... <laughs> My lord, that's smells amazing. You can smell the lemongrass. Try it. The, the the licorice comes through. It's got this like sweetness to it. It's it's not as it's not as gingery as I expected it to no. be. It's, it's very lemony. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, it's more more lemon and licorice than anything. Isn't it? <coughs> I'm just getting the lemon and the lemongrass. 
Yeah, I don't know whether that funny. slightly numbed no, no, my maybe. tongue to the, the, the licorice. No, I'm definitely getting... You just get it underneath. Sweetness But bearing of... in mind, I hate licorice. I'm not going, ugh. Uh, I'm not a big all. fan. Licorice all sorts. Not my thing. No. But no, that's... It's just... You just get like a little yeah, sweetness to it. Yeah, it's a hum underneath, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That is that is lovely. I think we'll we'll definitely be getting some of that because uh, yeah. Mm. So so when you buy that, is it loose? It yep. does come loose. All the teas come loose. So yes, that's really really cool. That is the Phoenix Ashes fruit tea, which is a lemon and ginger. That's lovely, isn't mm. it? Yeah. But the, because it's loose, it means you can you know vary the strength, which is which is quite yeah. Which is yeah. Quite good you're enough. not you're not bound by the amount in the tea mm. bag. You yeah. can always say yeah. I don't want to have quite that much. Mm. I just love all loose leaf tea. I think it's so much better for the environment. You know, it's great. Mm. And I will definitely be, I think out of all of these that we've got, obviously the dried zombie brains and the octopus ink, I'm really glad that I have huge, great big packs of them. Yep. I think out of the four samples that I got, the Himalayan Yeti, which was the Nepalese black tea, which was the more refined tea. Um, I really nice. like that. I yeah, would definitely nice. get that again. Um, I think it would be our you know, visitor's tea sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the, the one you Christmas crack out. Christmas day tea. Yeah, the one you crack out when you've got posh visitors. Posh on. visitors mm. over, mm. yeah. When the queen comes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the dried cobra's venom chai, definitely going to buy some oh, more God, of yeah, that. Oh, God, yeah, that's really good. And the phoenix really ashes, lemon and ginger, definitely going to buy some more of that. The distilled dragon's breath was delicious. It's lovely. It's just a little bit much for me, I think. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, it still smells amazing now. It's the, um... And the milk has definitely tempered it. I just can't see myself getting through 120 grams of it. You know, it'd be with that kind of cup of tea that yeah. I, would, I would have even less than the, the Himalayan mm. Yeti. And that's going to be our, yeah. you know, posh I think tea, it's the, so. see, I like, I like Assam. Um, which I like is Assam it? and I like Ceylon. It's the Lapsang Souchon. It's I think, but just it's a, a bit too very much. strong Lapsang. But, yeah. you know, if, if you like that kind of tea, I think that would yeah. absolutely. Yeah. But that's the beauty of these taster packs is that you get, you know, one tea bag of each, you can try it out. The entire taster pack of four different teas came to 4 So <laughs> a fiver to try you can't really all those that, different you? teas, you yeah. know, which rather than spending a fiver on a whole a whole bag of it and then going, I don't really like it. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, you can't really beat that, can you? And it comes in this beautiful presentation thing, you know. And if not, if, if you want to, you could get four tea bags the same. If you were, you know, or you could get two of each tea bag. If you were like, there was only two that you wanted to try, you know, then yeah. you and a friend yeah. can try them together rather than sharing, <laughs> like yeah. we do. <laughs> you know? Sharing is caring. Well, yeah, yeah, we're married. We, you know, <laughs> so, <laughs> you might not be that close with a friend. So <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed joining us for this tea journey. It has tea been great fun. It has been absolutely great fun. I'm definitely going to be purchasing some more tea from Monster Mash Teas. Go check out their website, check out all the different things. I also checked this, unfortunately, this particular style of jar is no longer available. They now have um, the apothecary jars. They've got a slightly narrower neck here, but they're still the same style. Really, really cool. You know, and you can have them printed with the label of your choice on them if you want to as well. So, I mean, they've got some really cool stuff on there. Like I said, you know what I'm like. Go support a small business. We out. love Check supporting a small business. Suzanne's just awesome. Absolutely, absolutely brilliant. Remember to like this video. Comment down below. Tell us what you think. Tell us what tea you would like to try. Tell us if you've tried any, because I know yeah. a few of you have, and I'd love to discuss your thoughts mm. on it. Any recommendations? Yes, definitely. If there are any more that you would recommend, particularly in the black or the green tea variety, I would be very interested to, to hear from you. Remember to comment down below, as I've said. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever I upload. And remember, people, stay, stay heavy. heavy.